Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, dear students. Um, inshallah, this uh, lecture about communication uh, will help you uh, in your academic as well as uh, your practical life. Uh, I'm Mr. Yusuf uh, from Pakistan. I've been teaching uh, in different institutions for the last 25 years, and I've made uh, a little bit effort to, uh, to deliver a few, my points of view regarding communication, to teach uh, the students about uh, communication, the importance of communication in academics and in practical life as well, and what is uh, the effective and defective communication, what are the barriers of communication which can um, be removed by the students uh, and to earn uh, goodwill and to earn money, to earn business. So communication is, uh, uh, is an effective thing uh, nowadays which uh, we should have because if there is lack of communication, then we cannot run our business and we cannot uh, uh, earn, um, you can say, money as well. So uh, let's uh, understand uh, what is communication. Students, uh, Let's uh, try to understand what is communication. In fact, communication is the exchange of your ideas. Communication is the activity or process of expressing your ideas, your feelings, your emotion. And this is the transformation or exchange of uh, information uh, from people to people. When you give uh, some kind of information to others, this becomes communication. We're not talking about the defective communication or effective communication. For example, if you are making gesture to, uh, to ask for somebody to fetch a glass of water, but he does not do so and he brings something else, then this is also communication, although it is, uh, it is a defective communication. So uh, first of all, try to uh, have in your mind the, the activity or process of expressing ideas are exchange of ideas, exchange of information, exchange of your feelings, exchange of your emotions is called communication. And in this world, speech is the fastest method of communication among people. When you speak, then you communicate. When you write, you communicate. When you make gesture, you communicate. When you read newspaper, it is communicate. When you listen radio or watch and listen to television, then these, all these are sources of communication. But the fastest method in the world is, is, the, is the speech that, uh, that works fast, that works immediately. So after understanding the definition of communication, that communication is exchange of information, uh, Dear students, uh, let's uh, study that uh, why are we studying communication? Uh, we are studying communication in colleges and universities and different departments. So there, according to my vision, there are four main points which help you to understand the concept that why we should study about communication. Number one is if you want to make your business good, uh, you should have good communication. If your communication is weak, if there is lacking in your communication, then you cannot make your business, your good business. You can run your business, but that business will not, will not be a good business. Uh, you communicate with others personally, you communicate others on telephone, on internet, through emails, through telex, through fax, or through letters, or through memos. But this, all these things make your communication effective communication. And when your communication is good, when your communication is effective, then your business definitely will be uh, good. Number two, to have good relations, to have uh, good contacts, you have to communicate. You have to take step. You have to go to people. You have to communicate with the people. You have to visit uh, the external organizations. You have to go to the people. You have to go to different managers. You have to work for your business. You have to work for your goodwill. You have to work for your business goodwill. Then you have to make relations. There are different sources, different methods, different techniques and tools to make relations with others. So second uh, reason that why are we studying communication is your good relations.
Number three, goodwill. If you want to make your will good, if you want to earn respect, if you want to gain social status, if you want to, uh, you want to get good, uh, uh, good uh, will of your business, of yourself, then you have to communicate with others. If uh, any external organization asks something, then you, ha you should communicate with others, but because if you will not communicate, if you will show your lacking, if you will show your, uh, your, uh, your passivity, or you are not uh, active, then it means that you are not making your goodwill, you are not making your, you are not flourishing your business as well. So third reason of studying communication is your goodwill. Number four and last, that good earning, we are working for earning. We are communicating for earning. What earning? Goodwill, earning of goodwill, earning of money. We are selling our services. We are selling our uh, techniques. We are selling our tools. We are selling our services. We are selling our work. Each and everything uh, should, be, uh, should be made possible to make your communication effective communication. Because if you want to earn money, respect, our goodwill, our earning, then you have to study communication. So you, you should uh, uh, focus on these four points to improve your communication, to have good communication, then ultimately you will feel after uh, adopting uh, the above mentioned four, uh, four reasons that your communication have become effective communication and if your communication is effective, then your business, your goodwill, your, your uh, earning will be effective. It will have good uh, and positive effect on your business and your, your uh, goodwill as well. Dear students, let's uh, study about the communication process that uh, if you understand the process of communication, then it becomes uh, easy for you uh, to uh, work on communication, to have contacts with others, and to uh, earn goodwill and earn respect and money as well. Number one is sender. The person who sends a, a message to others uh, is called sender. For example, if, uh, if a company, if an organization sends message to another company out of uh, their city, out of their uh, departments, of their, their own organization, uh, internal or externally, internally or externally, uh, that company, that organization is sender. If you, as an individual, sending a message to your friend, you are sender. And number two, the person who is receiving your uh, message is called receiver. And if there is no receiver and you are only sender, then it means that the communication process will not be completed. Communication process is not uh, up to the mark. There is lacking uh, in the communication process. And what is the, what is the thing uh, which is between the sender and the receiver? That is your message, that is your idea. Because uh, if, your, uh, uh, if uh, there, is, there is sender and receiver, and there is no message, there is no idea, there is no theme of communication, there then your communication will not be completed. Number four is encoder. The first encoding, uh, when you write something, the sender writes something to send, that is encoding, and the person who is receiving a message, that is called decoding. And there are different ways, different methods to send your uh, message to your idea, your uh, information to the receiver, that is, uh, that is called medium, that is called channel. And if you're using uh, uh, internet, you're using email, telex, fax, television, radio, FM, or anything, or you are, you are sending a message through your mobile, that is also called medium. If your medium is weak, if your medium is problematic, then uh, your communication will be defected. defected. And uh, last is feedback. Your uh, receivers are your receiver. If your receiver, the person who is receiving, if they are uh, too many, there are too, uh, there are too many number, then uh, they will be receivers. And if there is only one person who is getting your message, who is receiving your message, he's only one, then, then he is your receiver. If you are uh, getting your uh, feedback according to your desires, according to your objectives, then it means that 
your feedback is uh, purposeful or according to your objectives. And if you are not getting the feedback according to wishes, according to your, obje or your objectives, then it is negative feedback. But keep in your mind that that is feedback, although it is negative or although it is positive. And if you get, want to get good feedback, if you want to get the feedback according to your uh, wishes, according to your objectives, according to your mind which you have made, then your communication should be effective. And how can we make our communication an effective communication? That's up to you, that you have to study, you have to work on it, that what are the flaws, what are the drawbacks, what are the things, what are the barriers which make your communication defective communication, and how can those barriers should be removed, how can we remove those barriers to make your communication an effective communication? So when you will be able to remove those barriers, it may be the problem in your, in your mobile, it may be problem in net, it may be problem in, uh, in electronic media or print media, it may be a uh, problem in your, in your writing, it may be problem of your, of your uh, punctuation in your English and your sentence structure, it may be problem in your writing, it may be problem in your message then you can say that there will be the communication, effect, defective communication. And if you remove all those factors, all those, best, all those barriers, which uh, uh, give you negative feedback, which give you the, uh, the which make your uh, communication, defective communication, if you remove them, then you can complete this process of communication, and then you can have the results or feedback according to your objectives and then uh, you can earn your goodwill, you can earn money, you can earn respect. If you like this video and you have some questions to you, then you can also like it with a comment in the end. If you have any tension or question or query, you can also send us an email. Thank you.